Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Mask Monday. Mask Monday is going to be a little different <clears throat> on this beautiful Monday morning here in North Carolina. It is currently 57 degrees and I am about to freeze because the <clears throat> dreaded stomach bug has hit our household. So, I am already freezing, so I'm not going to put a cold, cold mask on my face, but... I am going to do some skin prep, some masking of some sort. Um, I am filming this today, the 20th of February, and I am hoping to get it uploaded. If not, Mask Monday may be Mask Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever. Um... I'm going in with Fab Beauty, the Facial Radiance Pads. Um, I really enjoy these. These are, let's see, <clears throat> they help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And this is, as you've probably heard and are tired of hearing, one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, I have some glitter on my face already from, I filmed a video last night, and I don't know that I'm going to upload it. Samantha picked out a face of um, makeup for me, and so I was going to do a video, and I, I did it last night, and it's going to be choppy. I mean, I just kept the um, camera on while... I, um, it did other things. <laughs> like I said, this, this virus, oh man, it's just running rampant. My, um, I'm hoping it's just a 24 hour thing. God, I am. Because it is just not pleasant. <clears throat> and let's see. So. We've got that on. Now, I'm going to put some of this Glam Fox Rose Hip Oil and Vitamin E Lip Sleeping Mask. It's huge. This thing is huge. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> so, and it's got a little, I like the little pull tabs right there. So it seals, and I mean that's what the inset's very um, emollient, and I mean I've used this a ton. I think this came in a subscription box. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, and I have on the side of my lip there a. Um, Dryness crack. That's what I like to call them. And when I use lip masks or treat or treatments or whatever, I, I like to go all over. And it does have rose hip oil in it, which is really good for minimizing texture. And I used to use the ordinary rose hip. Or I had bought the Ordinary Rose Hip Oil quite a while ago. Um, I used to have some really bad texture up here. And it's kind of, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. But there's just something about this, the scent. I don't, it's just, ugh. So I used it, you know, before I went to bed. But I need to get some more too because I have a lot of texture right in here. For some reason, I didn't get acne as a child. I was very lucky. 
um, or a teenager. I was very lucky in that aspect that I never <clears throat> had acne. You know, I would get the occasional hormonal breakout when it was, you know, that time of the month. And I'd always get a zit right in the center of my forehead. Never failed the center of my forehead. Now, I mean, I... Um, decades past those days, but I seem to always kind of get a, a um, little friend kind of along my jawline, and I don't, that could be because I use so many, you know, different kinds of products sometimes, so, you know, <clears throat> we never knew. And I'm going to put these, the Grace and Stella, Everything Better in Pink eye masks on. I hope everything is coming off good on camera. My ring light um, phone holder broke. And so I purchased a while back a smaller tabletop phone stand and... So, I've kind of just got it up on my ring light, gripped. So, I mean, it's a makeshift type of situation that's really hard to really pinpoint how I had it before. So, you know, I'm doing the best I can here, guys. It's been a hell of a week. Zach started out <clears throat> getting sick, and we thought <clears throat> it might have been the, <clears throat> excuse me, he wanted hot Cheetos over here. Why? Beyond me, but this kid loves um, hot Cheetos for whatever reason, and Takis, all that stuff. He loves that mess. Me, I... Mm -mm. And so, that's what he had um, been. I'm going to go in and use a little bit of my, the new company, the Peel All-in-One Serum. And I'm almost out of this stuff. And I check the Boxy shop every month to see if it's up there. And I've yet to find it. So that's a little disappointing because I actually really do like, whoops, this little thing. <clears throat> I mean, it's very, very, very beneficial, so... And come on. Three eternities later. Mm. I think now the pump has officially quit. So I'll have to use my little spatula to get everything else out. But that's okay. We can do that and... You know, then we'll just move on to something else that hopefully can help. But, so we thought that Zach had um, gotten sick on his stomach from eating the spicy foods. You know, my husband said, don't give Zach any more hot Cheetos or any of that spicy mess that tore his stomach up. I was like, oh, okay. And so that's what we thought. No, that won't end. Samantha said, after about the fifth time of him getting sick, she said, N I knew it was the bug. And when I say he ate a bag of hot Cheetos, I'm talking the little, well, I don't know. I think they're like 75 cent now, but they used to be the little quarter bags of um, chips. You know, the little snack packs that you put in lunch boxes. So... Anyway, it wasn't that. Um, and then and he just felt so bad. Oh, he just felt so bad. But he still wanted to play, so he played, you know. And, and you know, we're 
grandparents and, and you know, we'll take that beating if we get sick, you know, gladly. And so, you know, and um, so that's what we did. You know, we, we helped out. And then yesterday, both of them were over here and, and Zach seemed to be, you know, feeling better. Um, so, you know, we thought, okay, well, this is, this, this was gone. You know, this was a little bug. Husband said, well, you know, I got to go get, um, Abby wants some McDonald's. I said, mm, okay. I said, I could probably eat something I hadn't eaten all day. I said, how about get me, um, something from Bojangles, which is right next door to McDonald's. And the funniest thing, they're like, Okay, I had bariatric surgery. I had two of them, as a matter of fact, less than a year apart. That's another whole story. If you guys would like that story, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be glad to share my experience. So anyway, a lot of times I never know what food is going to work and what's not going to work. You don't know until you try it. So, the last time I had had Bojangles, it made me sick. Just is what it is. And so, you know, Jeff was picking on me and he said, Are you going to eat this? Because last time you ate this, you got sick. Da 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 da. I'm like, Yeah, I th I'll be fine, Jeff. I promise. Just don't get me. I said, I think I got sick because I think maybe the chicken might have been raw. I said, Just get me the Supremes. Never had a problem with those. So he comes. He goes and gets um, our lunches or dinners. He comes back and he brings me mine. And then he goes over and he takes um, Sam and Abby theirs. Zach had already left. He went to his other grandmama's. So anyway, I'm I'm at at our house and I'm I'm eating my Supremes and they're good. No problems. And, I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Luckily, I was in the kitchen already. So, you know, I had my trash can there. Jeff walks in the door. And the last, you know, the last thing he said before he left to go get the food was, and, and it was in a joking manner. You know, he was like, you don't make me waste my money on this mess if you just gonna, you know... Hurl it up, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, just go get it and shut up. You know, we, we kind of laughed about it. He walks in the door from being over um, at Sam's. And he said, Abby, just got that mess. Zach guy said, just got through finished cleaning up. You know, Abby got sick. And he... <laughs> He happened, you know, he's telling me this as he's walking in the front door. And then he looks, he kind of then makes eye contact with me. And I'm there with a big old trash can in front of me. I'm at the sink. And I'm white as his headband. And he goes, oh, no. I said, oh, yeah. I said, I won't even going to tell you. Because <laughs> I didn't know Abby had got sick. I, like, I won't even going to tell you, Jeff. <laughs> I said, it's not the Bojangles. I promise you it's not the Bojangles. It, it went down fine. I didn't. Anyway, as soon as this video is done, I am climbing into bed, turning on my TV, and I'm going to do absolutely nothing. No filming. I'm going to try to get this video edited. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Just feel that crummy. But I did... Um want to shout out a very, very, very good friend of mine here on YouTube. And I have um, tagged a couple of people in um, on IG. She, Her name is um, Bridget Turco. That's her YouTube name now. She used to go by Porcelain. I think it was Porcelain Cosmetics or Porcelain Makeup. And she is originally from North Carolina, which is how, it, way before I even thought about starting a channel, I followed her. 
I mean, you know, she's, she, she's, you know, she's one of our own, you know, at any rate. And then she, she moved, she made the big move by herself to um, Florida and she's created a life there. She's gotten married. She has a small business. Absolutely. Her aesthetic is so consistent and her videos are just so very interesting. She does some, um, they purchased a house, her and her husband purchased their first house. And so they had been doing, um, some renovations themselves to their home. And she's very much into spooky. I don't want to say goth, but I mean, she has a very, um, her house is, and, and what she shows, I mean, this isn't me, you know, disclosing anything that's not disclosed on her channel. Um, but like her home is, I don't want to say Halloween themed, but I would, I would go more spooky, spooky theme. She, um, as a matter of fact, she has a tattoo that says spooky. So um, she has amazing tattoos. Anyway, um, and she owns her own business. It's called the Open Crypt at opencrypt.com. Beautiful pieces of um, jewelry. They're handmade. She assembles them. She makes wax melts, which if you've seen my channel before, you know that I am a scentsy snob. And, and it's just because I've always enjoyed scentsy. But she has wax melts that are just I mean, out of this world, and I use those wax melts on her a lot cheaper than Scentsy. But anyway, um, <clears throat> she just has a lot of really cool things for that type of aesthetic. And she does a series on her channel called Flip the Crypt. You know, Crypt, and it really goes in. It's just so neat, you know, and you should really just check her out. I'm going to leave her links in the description box please go subscribe to her channel and um tell her that she came from me that i sent you and she was also featured in the jeffree star and shane dawson docu when he did the documentaries he did two of them and i think he even put her in the third one the, the the one where I think he just did one or two episodes. I don't know. But anyway, she didn't... I think she... I think Shane, Shane actually sent her the conspiracy palette. <clears throat> but she's not on their PR list. But she reviews their products. She's very honest. And I enjoy her content. I've always enjoyed her content. You know, we will occasionally, you know, chat in, um, email or, you know, DMs or whatever. I try to share her things, you know, when I'm on IG. So, you know, do me a favor and go show her some love. She has over a hundred thousand subscribers, but, you know, she is as humble as if she had a hundred subscribers. You know, that's just, who she is, it's not changed. If you go back and look at videos years, years prior, she's not changed. You know, this surge of subscribers and, and views, it's not changed who she is. She has a lot of hair. Um, <clears throat> she changes her hair. She does her hair at home. I mean, it's just really good content. You know, they're mostly... <clears throat> They're not nearly as long as the crap I put out, but just do me a favor and just go give her a follow. So, anyway, I am going to take these off. These have, I think, for the first time ever, stayed on my face. Normally, they don't do that. But, I am going to remove them. They still feel very cool. And... I'm going to put on some moisturizer. And this is the Kate Somerville, 
goat milk moisturizing cream. This came in a boxy charm box. Um, that's what it looks like. No, this is not a brand that I can afford. So, I use what I have. Which is this? I have so many moisturizers. But, it's just hard to find one that will work for me. I don't like a feeling of stickiness, thickness. I, I just, I don't like those textures on my face, which I'm not very, very fond of sleeping masks for that very reason. Um, but I do, I do have one and let's see that I will use um at night and that's my Besame cosmetics um night cream and this is a very expensive brand and I got it for six ninety nine at Marshall's. I've never been able to find another one. And so I um I am on the hunt for that because that is definitely something that I would repurchase. But, anyway, I do like this Kate Somerville. It is very um, nourishing and refreshing. And um, I forgot to put my toner on, but that's all right. We did that. The eyes are nice and moisturized. And I will put some eye cream on. I'm going to put on my, is this the one? Yeah, I am going to put on the Pure Lease Lotus, Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. And I do enjoy this as well. And I just kind of take and, you know, go up the side of my eye, right through there, and just kind of go above a little bit, get those crow's feet. And that is it for this video. I'm going to take this lip mask off and put one on or put my tried and true on. Usually, use kind of use that at night, but for my everyday, I use my Mario. But that's good. That one. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for joining me for this um, not-so-short Mask Monday. I'll try to trim down as much as I can. Um, I hope nobody gets this stomach bug. Ah, it's terrible. All right, guys. Be beautiful. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next video.